Hey guys, I uh, want to show some of my knives. Actually, these pieces right here that I'm fixing to show you are from my last trip out. I'm guessing this would be a knife. It came off of a capena mound. Uh, I actually took my camera with me. There's a little knife broken. Took my camera with me, a handy cam, and uh, I lost it in the water, so I didn't get to film finding these artifacts. I did get to film it, but I just don't get to show it to you because it's sitting on the bottom of the river somewhere until it washes up. Maybe I'll get lucky enough to find it one day. But I had all these on on tape maybe another knife right there and looking like a broken drill right here are some of the knives I have here some that I really like I like this kind of twisted blade it's thin it feels really well in the hand it doesn't have a lot of polish on it so I'm guessing that it was a knife and not a a scraper and I found this one on a compete amount it's pretty good size but I also found another one on Capena Mound. And man, it's like huge. It's uh right there. That's one of my favorite ones right there. It's uh about seven and a half inches long. I actually uh it has basal grinding even through this little nick right here. The spatial ground up to here, you can see just a little bit of polish right in there. Maybe they handheld this one, I don't know. It probably was bigger because it's kind of got a bevel going on now. But, uh, man, this thing really feels nice in the, in the hand. And like I said, it came off of a mound that I've only found Capinos and Baker Creeks. So, that's a hoss right there. <coughs> Here's a couple that came off of the same site, and these are broke, but man, the edge work was just so cool on them. I've kind of put them up. I don't know, maybe it was, you know, used like that. You never know. Never can tell, man, what they did back then. It's got a little edge work on this side, too. So. And here's another. Here's one that came off the same site. It's got a really good feel to it, kind of thin, but it's also broke. And then, of course, we got the Morse knife. I found this one on a site that I really only find capinas on. Pretty good length to it. It's a hoss. And old square knife. I believe this came off of a Capena site. Doesn't look like it's got much flaking on this side, but it does on this. And I really don't know what this is. It, it resembles a, an older type point. It came off the Tennessee River, kind of washed up. So, it definitely looks like a knife of some type. Of course, here's the old Capena Classic. Guessing it's a knife. And then 
the big hoss motley Tennessee River big, thin 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 kind of a little crude but it's thin man and then I found this uh, square knife on an older site and I find a, a variation of time period points but I found all the way up to early archaic uh, on this site. And this one was hanging out of the bank. There's another Tennessee River motley knife. Kind of thin. Alright guys. Uh, if anybody sees my camera or my handy cam washed up, really all I care about is the video I had on it. So we get it on YouTube. I had some underwater finding some of the pulling them out of the bank stuff. Alright, we'll see y'all.